How's it going, everybody? The Sysim TV here. We're back for another video on our Let's Play world. And um, we're back at the zombie spawner. So somebody on the uh, last video commented that if I put uh, some walls... Uh-oh. Okay, that block fell. Well, uh, if I can go down here with the free cam... If I... Oh, yeah, you guys can already see it in action. So, uh, baby zombies, what are you doing? So somebody commented, and if I put a wall, I don't know how you guys can probably not see that at all. Um, let me just, we'll, we'll mine down here. All right, so uh, I should be able to be right here. Hopefully he's not catching on. What the hell? Uh, that's really weird. So somebody commented on the last video, if I put walls right here, the zombies, as you guys can tell, are going up a lot easier. Uh, and that's why I was trying to figure out is how to, because I thought it was a stair trick, and I think it used to be a stair trick, uh, but with the bubble elevators, it, it's a bit different. But yeah, so they kind of just walk in there. Um, how the hell? Well, I guess that's an issue for a different time. What the? <laughs> what? Um, anyways. So basically they come on to the wall right here and as you can tell they go up kind of like a half block because the walls are kind of weird with their hitboxes and it just pushes them up a lot easier uh, than having to have a, a block without any water here. So if they do get stuck more zombies will push them eventually um, but they tend to be pretty good about just like smoothly going up but the baby zombies that's going to be a little bit different and I put a wall here. Uh, I don't really know why uh, it kind of just seemed like they were getting stuck on the block by like just a pixel like that um, so just having them in the bubble elevator already while being stuck right there just by a pixel will uh, I thought would make it a bit more efficient um, let's go ahead and put that back and we'll go all the way back up but as you guys can tell I am level 31 uh, which means we could do another enchant and I kind of, I kind of wanted to go up there and do that real quick. Actually, we might. Whoa, there was a drowned in there. How the heck did I get a drowned? I don't think they're, they're able to like. Oh, that's weird. Never mind. Should probably put my armor back on. Had to get that for the thumbnail last video. Uh, well, level thirty-three is right here. So what the heck? How the heck did you spawn? Okay, maybe we should put the torch back. What? Did it spawn a reinforcement right there? How the heck did that happen? Okay, well, we are level 33, so now we can do two enchants instead of just the one, uh, which is a lot nicer. Um, eventually, we'll come back and we'll probably pretty this up. There's a lot of... I kind of want to make a bunch of unfinished projects that are functioning uh, right now in our world because, you know, we, we got to get enchants at least, right? <laughs> so... Uh, just to make it a bit more efficient for us in the long run. That was a crazy jump. Uh, whoa, training. Uh, just to make it more efficient for us in the long run, uh, I want functionality over it looking good. So we're not going to have these super crazy builds or anything like that for right now. But eventually we will make uh, better, better builds, <laughs> I promise. Uh, we also got two Lena Rain other side discs. Um, so uh, I guess we'll have to make a jukebox eventually. Uh, I kind of... What do I want to make? We should probably... I guess we could make a full set of tools now, right? So two for the sword, one for the shovel, three for the axe. And we should probably make another pick as well. Because if we can get Silk Touch on it, that would be very, very useful. Uh, I did want silk touch a bit okay now we have a full set of diamond tools uh, i should probably arrange this so you guys don't think i'm crazy or anything like that it was very interesting to read the comments on the first video uh about how people arrange their tools or arrange their hotbar some people had it like kind of spread out so they'll have like tools or they'll have tools, blocks, tools, blocks, or like tools, useful useful things, or something like that. Uh, or they'll have like their food on the other side of the hotbar from their tools, which I thought was super duper interesting. 
Yeah, so I, I kind of wanted to grab some some wheat real quick and see if we can uh, just plant up all this and breed our cows because these guys haven't been bred in a little bit, at least from a couple episodes ago. Uh, where are you guys? Come here. Make love. Make more babies. Make more babies. I'll give I'll give the sheep one. Why not? Okay. Well, now grow into big big adults. Uh, well, eggs. There we go. <laughs> Goodbye. Maybe there will be a, a chicken swimming in the ocean whenever we come back. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. I left the lapis in here. I forgot that I was smart and put it in this chest. So let's go ahead. Uh, what can we get efficiency for? on all of these right yeah the tools are the same for fire aspect i really do not care about fire aspect too i think i want just efficiency for it. what <laughs> there's what huh what the huh <laughs> I gotta go back to the mob farm. <laughs> what is that? What are those two efficiency four enchants? What the heck is that? Oh my god. I feel like I just got gypped. There's no way that happens twice in a row, right? <laughs> well, let, let's just go back down to the XP farm. That now works even more efficiently. Thank you, the person who commented on the last video. I'm sorry, I don't remember your name. Uh, and we'll just, we'll, I guess, sit here for a little bit, contemplate my life and why I got two efficiency for engines on two different items. It's, it's really nice to be playing, especially with everyone on Cornerstone, because, like, we share that same passion and, like, we're all friends, too. Like, we're friends first and, like, YouTubers seconds. Okay, we're back up to level 30. Let's go ahead uh, also, the zombies, for some reason, zombies are spawning, uh, and I lit up everywhere down there. Uh-oh, it's nighttime. Uh, I lit up everywhere down there, but for some reason, uh, there's still zombies that are spawning, which I assume are reinforcements, because uh, you know, if you guys know, zombies can spawn... Uh, quote unquote reinforcements, which will basically help them uh, fight against players. And the harder the difficulty is, the more uh, reinforce reinforcements or other zombies they will spawn. So I don't know what's happening with that. I don't know why they're spawning, but uh, it's kind of sad. Um, well, I'm breaking three or sweeping at oh, sweeping edge three. Oh, Bane of arthropods. What? Oh my god, man. Ah, what are these enchants, man? Oh my god. Well, once we get a more efficient uh, spawner or uh, XP farm, like maybe once we get to the end eventually, which uh, we can do pretty soon, it will be right down there. Just got to find another fortress. Uh, but uh, like once we do that then we'll we'll get the enchants we need but for it's, it's so rough right now <laughs> i mean getting to efficiency four enchants is not not the best but um you know what can you do i guess so actually now that i'm thinking about it we could uh make an automatic bamboo farm um or maybe we can make an automatic sugar cane farm i think maybe we should do a bamboo farm i think that'd be cool so all we need is just some observers uh let's go ahead we'll make five so five pistons five observers and all we need to do is all right so all we need now is just a bit of sand and using our efficiency force shovel this should be a lot quicker oh my god we can actually we can actually get sand now <laughs> without having to take forever uh okay let's do that let's swim up to the surface don't drown uh we so now that i'm thinking about it uh do i don't think i want like full 
glass. Uh, actually, no, I should probably make full glass columns, right? So I'm thinking about how high we should have it or how high we want the bamboo to grow. Uh, I, I guess it doesn't really matter fully, but I don't want it to kick off every time that it grows uh, up to the third block. So yeah, maybe something like that. One, two, three, four, five. So five tall. So we would need five glass. But all we really got to do, so I kind of want to make this down by the farms again, right? Like it, that's where we're putting all the farms for right now. So this probably work out over here. Uh, yeah, I think just right here will do. So we can just spread these out by one. Uh, the bamboo, we want to go up to five, right? So three. Um, 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 um. Building blocks. <laughs> Four, five. And then all we need is the observer that way and then we just got to kick that i think so now with the observer it should update the piston um so if we go ahead and break that real quick do that pro three four and then once it grows up one more five i forgot that i needed to put the piston down here there we go. Yeah, that works. Okay. Pretty simple. So all we got to do is do that five times and we will basically have our bamboo bar bamboo farm complete. Uh, I do need to put hopper minecarts underneath these, I believe. So we're going to need a bit more iron than what we currently have, I believe. So let's just do this. Boom stones do that uh, bamboo in front of all these and then the observers will go on the back here not like that guess i'm gonna have to get up that way oh my god how did i walk off there so that will work sweet There we go and then do that and redstone so there we go made that so now we have the actual functionality or the redstone part completed the farm is pretty easy so nothing too difficult uh all we have to do is add in the glass on the sides uh, and then I need to put the hopper mine carts underneath so that they can grab the uh, the bamboo as it falls. Okay, so we only need one hopper mine cart really. Uh, I do. Oh wait, I actually I need one more chest. Do I have any more wood? No, of course I don't. Goodbye, birch tree. You have been sacrificed. Eh, okay, there we go. Hopefully those leaves don't stick uh we'll do that chest just over here. uh and then we can head back uh so yeah we only need one mine cart with a hopper in it and that should last us or uh should do pretty good oh i hear i hear that zombie don't worry go away go away i already killed a bunch of you uh we'll do that uh i guess i can make i don't know if it'd really be worth it to uh make a uh an item detection system so if there's items in the hopper minecart then it'll just stop here uh i don't i don't think that would be really or too worth it but i don't know maybe it could we're going to need a stair on top of this chest so that the minecart doesn't fly off. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. We need power rails, actually. There we go. Uh, make redstone. Or, so we can just make levers. Two levers. This was probably one of the greatest changes that they made for quality of life updates is whenever you break a 
a hopper minecart or a minecart chest, uh, it drops like the actual item. It doesn't... I guess I'll just need another... Another hopper with a block over it. Okay. That kind of sucks. Uh, but yeah. Oh my god! Come over here. <laughs> Do not blow that up. Oh my god, that was close. Okay. Holy shit. Ugh. Anyways, now, now that that nightmare is over, let's go ahead and place the rest of these blocks. Oh, hey, there is a chicken here. I don't know if that's... Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the boat's stuck. God damn you, chicken. You caused this, you little shithead. Okay, get out of there. Why is my boom? Why are the boats moving like that? That's so annoying, dude. Let's, uh... Anyways. I gotta get more glass, so I need to I need to smelt up more sand. Oh, I think the, uh, the, the first one just went off. Oh, yeah. There we go. Oh, perfect. So, I think it was that one. This one. Yeah, that looks about right. See if we can see it live in action. Also, I need to get the uh, the connected glass because I kind of hate how that looks. Disgusting, disgusting con or not connected glass. Individual blocks never. Garbage. Uh. Okay. Well, if you guys want to grow again, that would be cool. Boom. We are finished. Done. Finished don't want to see your face around here again uh well that about does it i think for that farm right so obviously i don't think it's the most efficient because uh i know sometimes bamboo can be really really weird along with a bunch of other crops in minecraft where they don't grow above a certain height for some reason sometimes um but if that ever happens then all i can or all i can do is just go back here and like bop 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 and then replant it so uh, maybe this one for example because it doesn't seem like it wants to grow anymore dumb bamboo so i think maybe next episode we uh, i need to go mining i want to get a bit more coal but i also need to get a lot more wood uh because we have like none we don't have any wood and i need sticks because i want to make some torches uh, so then we can actually start lighting up this area because somebody commented on a couple videos ago that uh, I'm like we're into what episode 10 now <laughs> and I still haven't done any spawn proofing but I complain about it every episode because there's always mobs everywhere <laughs> but uh, it's not my fault man I just I don't want to do it I, I never do it in Minecraft I just kind of deal with consequences of my actions and you know that, that's all you can really ask for sometimes in Minecraft but yeah, so this farm should hopefully give us quite a bit of bamboo, which, uh, again, we can actually make into stakes if I didn't want to use wood. Um, so maybe I'll AFK this, or uh, I'll just go mine some coal around the area, and uh, this should be running. I don't, I don't think it'd be out of uh, using distance, so should still run, but... Yeah, that's going to be it. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, remember to hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new here. Thank you all so much for all the support. We are almost at... Oh, what the heck? Where the fuck did that bat come from? What is it? What the hell, man? Now you're stuck. Cool. But thank you all so much for the support on the last... Uh, like all of these videos. It's been crazy. So thank you all. And bat says goodbye. So bye bye. Have a good day. I said that backwards.